Good. Oh, I remember that we had the minutes link from the document in GitHub too. I'm looking for it then. Okay, here I have it in the chat. I posted the meeting minutes in the chat. Ah, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'm moving to the beginning of the document. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm including in the agenda the um, release. Okay, so we're recording, right? Yeah. Okay, then let's, let's start. So the, the agenda includes issues, pull requests as usual, and then some discussion on the metrics that we are going to release, and of course, in your business. So um, let's start with issues as usual. So I, I suggest that we escape uh, the issues with um, Google Summer of Code in the subject, because that's mainly for coordination with our Google Summer of Code students. Just to summarize, we are working in, um, in this repository, mainly in the new reference implementation for the metrics. And right now we have um, class hierarchy that we are going to use for implementing all the metrics in the notebooks. And we are, I think that given the, the final touches to it, and hopefully during this week, that's going to be done. And we are going to start with uh, more metrics because up to now we have only uh, one. This is relevant for the later discussion on um, metrics to release, because my, my intention is to try to have reference implementation for as metrics as possible, but that's going to depend on, on how we can advance in this uh, Google Summer Code project, okay? So any comment on the issues related to Google Summer of Code, so those that have the SOC in the subject, no? Okay. So no, I don't have any specific um, concerns or questions. Okay. Perfect. Then let's move to the other issues. So in the order I have them in my screen, the next one is 165, which is uh, um, a ticket opened by Matt about uh, the release. So I think that uh, at the end of the discussion today, we, we, we can try to agree on the text right there, that my proposal is going to be the metrics that we already have in our focus area as the finish metrics. We can talk about that in a moment. If you don't have any other comment for this, we can move to 159. Okay. So the point of 165, the metrics release issue is to finalize today which metrics we want to have in, in the release, mm -hmm. right? Right, as much as possible. So, or if we leave something pending to know what, what that is. Okay. Um, so let's get back to that after we, or yeah. at the at end of the meeting. Yeah, I think I think that's better because we can discuss about that after looking at all of this. Okay. okay. Good. Then uh, moving to 159. It's um, this idea of including documentation in the uh, metrics definition about how to find uh, the metrics, localization uh, for the metrics in the model. So, Georg, Alberto, maybe you want to comment on that on it, because we have a bunch of um, pull requests related to it. You're very quiet, Alberto. Better now? Yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. I always have some problems with the USB audio here. So, well, I was saying just that I think we try to follow the suggestions made by Jesus here in this ticket. And this is here like a kind of epic task or epic issue. So once we have all the PRs merge or close, probably we can close this afterwards. Yeah, I think that all the PRs in the issue are reviewed, except for um, the last one, I think. Yeah. But all of them are, I think, pretty in, in pretty good shape. We were waiting for today because it's a bunch of changes to the metrics that we are going to release. My my opinion is that we should merge all of them, all of them are reviewed. And for the last one, I made a suggestion to clearly state that the metric the metric provided is not exactly the one defined, but except for that, I will also be applying it. Yeah, I changed the the last one, so we can review yeah. the changes or. Maybe you can do it later. Well, I, I already reviewed them and some of the people were reviewing them. So I, I, I would suggest that except that if, if some of you want to discuss anything, we just accept them. If some of you think that you need more time for checking them or whatever, just uh, let us know. How about we do this when we review the pull request? We can do it if now at the same time because all of them are the same thing, but but okay. whatever you, know, whatever you may want. Uh, yeah, you're the maintainer, I'm not. So <laughs> okay, whatever you want. Doesn't matter to me. Since they are in, on the same topic, we can so my 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 proposal is just to merge them. I can do that after the meeting. And uh, if any of you have any comment or one more time for review them or whatever, just let me know. Otherwise I'm going to merge them right after the meeting. Okay, okay, since we are now discussing the um, the last pull request, then I have I, I followed the same line that Alberto is following. That mm -hmm. while Grimoire Lab and we agree doesn't fully implement this metric, there is a very similar implementation that, under certain circumstances, gives you the information this metric is asking for. It doesn't support everything, but a small part of it. So I think Alberto has uh, tried to fix that and make it clear that it's only a part of the full metric, and I think it should be OK. So I yeah. see I'm, I'm looking at the note, and, and for me, it's good enough. So we can, uh, from my point of view, we can merge that. OK. Thanks. Okay, then I'm going to do that after the meeting, just not to stop all of you now. In any case, if you have any other comment, please write in the comments for the issue, and I will be checking before merging, just in case. Okay, this is all, I think, for 159. The next one, which is not related to Google Summer of Code, is I think that we are entering in our old issues that are here for a reason, but that there is little to do with them. So the first one is 149, which is some errors that we have, that we, we need to care about them, but nothing else. The next one is the issue that we keep open for discussing on the current focus area that we are working right now, which is efficiency. So I think that we should be keeping it open. The next one is an issue just taking note that we want to have testing on the reference implementations. That's something that maybe we can start doing next week because we already have a class structure that we can start testing. But otherwise, I don't have anything else to mention this. And then Brian, just to, 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 to go back, sorry, 149, naming a few or four errors. Um, I add a task, good first issue, and help wanted because that looks to be an uh, issue that is fairly easy for someone who just goes through the repository to clean up. Good, good, very good idea. Yeah. Okay. Any other comment up to one hundred and thirty-six? 
Okay. Then ninety nine is just a note for remembering. We have to uh, refine some uh, details on one of the metrics that are taken note there. So if somebody wants to have a look at that, that's fine. Otherwise, we keep it open. And the last two are use cases, where if somebody also wants to chime in, that's that's great. Otherwise, we still need to, I think, keep them open to finish the, the use cases, right? So any other comment uh, to any of the issues? You are good? Okay, great. So let's move, okay. to, let, let's move to the pull requests then. And in the case of the pull requests, again, we have some of them that are related to Google Summer of Code. I'm going to skip them as that we have any other comment. And uh, moving to the one that, that the, the ones that are not related directly to Google Summer of Code, we have the, the first two ones, 178 and 177. They are related to Google Summer of Code in the sense that they are architecting of the implementation that our Google Summer of Code student did, Polaris 000. And um, both of them do some kind of uh, refactoring and restructuring. So now we, we need to uh, be on the same page because um, we have a bit of a different thing. Uh, so probably we need to merge both. But they would say it's uh, uh, implementation details. I said that you want to comment anything, which is of course welcome. For the rest, I suggest that you go through the code and, and, and comment anything in the in the review. Then, if you don't have um, far the problem, far the comments, the next one is one hundred and seventy four, which is also for implementation, and it's also uh, some. Uh, restructuring, but in this case it's of the description, so it is uh, of the readme, where you can check how we are doing the reference implementations, that there is now this uh, cast hierarchy, and uh, the text tries to explain it. So again, have a look, and of course uh, reviewers are welcome, because we should be uh, trying to merge this as soon as possible, so if any of you want to review that, that would be great. In this case, reviewing is mainly reading the text and finding out that you can understand it and so on. Or, of course, any other comment is also welcome. Which line are you talking about? Uh, 174. Oh, 174, okay. Yeah, restructure the description of the reference implementations. Right, this is basically the readme in the implementations directory. Okay. So any, any comment on it is welcome. If any of you want or can do a, re a review of it, that would be great. It would be great. Okay. So the next one, I mean, the, the, the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven ones are those that we just commented, including visualizations related to Grimoire Lab and we already commented them when we commented the issue. And uh, the only one that is missing is the last one, which is 164. And this is basically a proposal for including the view duration in the list of metrics to release. The description of the metric was approved during the last meeting and after our review. But we forgot to include it into. I forgot to include it into the list of uh, metrics to release. So this is the pull request proposing that. So I suggest that you have a quick look at, look at it, and if you agree, we also consider this for release. And with this, we can move to the next item in the agenda today. Okay. Any other comment about the issues? I'm reviewing 174 right now. Okay, great. So if there is no other comment, we can move directly to uh, metrics to release, which is the next, the next item in the agenda. So I, I just remind you that we have 
already a table with the metrics that we intend to review. Sorry, release. I'm going to write the link in the chat, just for those of you that are not familiar with it. In any case, it's in, in every of the focus areas that we have been working with, which for now is exactly one. Let me check. So we have the code development focus area. So in it, we are keeping a table, which is summary of metrics. So I'm going to write the link in the chat. It is the one. The pull request in 164, in fact, what has is to add a new metric to this. Right now, we have all the metrics for the goal activity. And uh, the first metric in, the, in that pull request, 164, for efficiency. All of the metrics have been reviewed. All of them have detailed descriptions. And I hope that most of them are going to have reference implementation by the next week. Right now, the only major change in all of them is this inclusion of the description of how to find visualizations in Google, in, uh, sorry, in, um, in Remote Lab. But for the rest, they were viewed a long time ago. So my proposal is that we accept all of the metrics in the current version of the table and the metric described in 164. And we consider this as the release method for the version one. Okay, then we did, did we already update the Google Doc that I think two in the minute, the one that Matt is looking at for the release? You mean the spreadsheet that he shared some time ago? Yes, I put the link in the Google Doc for a minute. I'm, I'm checking, let me, because I think that all the the metrics in the current table are already in that link, in, sorry, in that. Okay, so in the DNI working group, I put a special notice in the column saying ready for release. Maybe we can do something similar. I think that we already had something like that. Okay, we have green. And the, if you look at the, at the, at the tab for evolution, we have all the metrics in the table as, okay, I see, I, I now I know I understand what you mean. Okay, that column, okay. Okay, perfect. In that case, uh, we're, what we can do is to decide now if we are at the other one. Yeah, I think we need to add the metric from 164. Yeah. Uh, let, let me let me check because I'm, I'm checking it right now. Okay. So if you agree with it, what I can do is to merge uh, the file. But it would be great if somebody can review it. And I can do after the meeting too. Uh, the 164? Yeah. Okay, I think I'll look at that. Okay. Okay, if you give me some time, I'm still working on 174, but then yeah, don't, don't don't worry. We can do after the meeting, so I, I don't think uh, I don't think we are in a rush. If we agree that we are going to accept it, what I can do is to just include it into the spreadsheet right now. Let me check. Yeah, okay. I see that somebody already did that. Okay, so in any case, just for, just for summarizing. Go and review it, uh, some of you, if you want. If uh, you all, if everybody reviewing agree with merging, I merge it, it after the meeting or this afternoon at some point, and then I update the um, the, the Google spreadsheet. Okay. If you're uh, if the metrics are are set for evolution, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, prototype the the evolution release, mm -hmm. and. Uh, send out an email to you all to uh to take a peek okay uh, i did uh i did implement those changes you requested uh in the meeting yesterday Perfect. Uh, i just put a link to that if you want to take a peek at that and see if, yes, uh, if it fits better please do so that the, all, all the rest of the people now can also see that because i already saw that yesterday 
but I don't have to put them. Maybe you can include that into the minutes. Maybe even send out a separate email to the mailing list saying that, hey, the evolution working group metrics are ready for release. Yes. Okay. Yeah, as soon as, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll prototype them later today and then send out a, an email. Okay. Uh, Kevin, would you also create the issues for comments or is that something you want the working group to do? I think the working groups individually should create the, uh, well, you know what? No, I can do that. That's not an issue at all. So, so in, yeah. in, in any case, Kevin, uh, for being sure that we're on, on the same page, in the issue that Matt opened, I'm basically to take note of these decisions. So I link to the release of uh, to the release metrics and all of that. Yeah. So that, so that Matt, Matt is also aware of them. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anything else related to the release of the metrics? Any other comment? Any other thing? Okay, then with this, just let me know if you agree. I understand that we are releasing all the metrics, including that in, in, in the 164 pull request. All of them are going to be in our table. All of them are going to be in the website, as Kevin said. And uh, we are still going to work mainly in the implementation of the metric. And uh, Kevin, I don't know if you intended to include a copy of the implementation or something, but I think uh, you are going to follow the links on it, right? Uh, yes. So there's a in the in the table there's a uh, a link that takes you uh, where we where we pull the uh, the detail page. Okay. Great. So um, in, in in short, what we are going to do is during the next week, I hope that most of the metrics are going to have an implementation. I'm sorry, I was breaking up. Okay, uh, I didn't so, hear any of that. Sorry? I'm sorry, I, I was breaking up. I didn't hear any of that. So okay. if you were if you were talking to me, you... no, no, I was I was just saying that that uh, we have uh, we are going to be working on the implementation. So I think that's going, not going to affect the release process because the implementations are not going to be moved to the or copied to the website. So if, uh, if people are just going to, to follow the link, they are going to see the reference implementation at some point. OK? OK. And um, I think this is all from my side. So comments, questions? Perfect timing. I need to leave. Sorry. <laughs> OK, no Bye. problem. Bye. So any other comment, any other thing that you want to discuss? Okay, perfect. Then we are done. So thank you very much to everybody. Uh, just before we go, like, do we have this? The, uh, we said this week we are doing the release, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we have like like a specific? Uh, because we, we I, I remember we said every six months. You mean a, a time schedule for that? Yeah. I don't know. We discussed to have something for each of the cows coming conferences, which are sort of every six months. So the next one would be very likely in February. Okay. So, so uh, that would mean that the next release would be mainly around December. So then it's really to be presented in February. But uh, to be honest, this is the first release. I think that what we need to do is to evaluate how people are receiving it and uh, and to see whether mm -hmm. maybe, maybe it makes more sense to have three months releases or six months or even one year. So I, I really don't know. I okay. think that the, the idea of presenting them in the chaos plan is, is nice because that means that there is another reason to come to the chaos plan. So. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Anything else? Okay, then as I said, thank you very much for staying up to the end. If you have any other comment, uh, please write in the minutes anyway. I'll see you. See you. Bye.